Hey guys, Thursday, June 27th, 2024. Let's see what's cooking with that gas for today. So we're going to start off statistically. Today is a bullish day. Is that going to play out? We don't know. I've got some comments on YouTube, on the uh, comment section where there's a report coming out. I don't know what time it is, uh, but I figure a beat before the report comes out. And kind of give you what I'm seeing in the charts. Now, this was going to be a special video because this one, I'm just using my uh, master chart. And this is a scale chart. So what I like to do is I like to go fractal and narrowed in on the war map, which is right here. This is the uh, area where I'm focusing on. From this high of uh, what that, uh, the uh, 363. On November 20, uh, October 27th, from that high, our February low, and I'm focusing on what's happening here. So we first off going to start out, and this is a scaled chart, so that means that everything here is uh, geometrically aligned. So we start off with this high, 45 degree. We went over the one by one. This is the one by two. One by three in the one by four. At the one by four is that where that's where we failed. That was that three fifteen high that we made and pulled back. And mind you, these are closes. This is not open high low and you know close. This is just close. So then my it, it could probably spike or whatever. Three fifteen is somewhere around here. You can see that we closed somewhere around here. But anyway. Today's the 27th. I want to see what, you know, could be expected using on the scale chart. So if we were to go higher on the 27th and pop and know that this is just closed, so I don't have any data for today, even in, you know, intraday. So if we were to pop uh, on today's date, this uh, one by three somewhere around 291 would be possible resistance. If we were to uh, sell off on today's date, this one by uh, one by two is 257 as support. So we start off from this high point. Uh, from there, we work our way down to our low, 152 low. If we were to sell off, pretty much this is the only thing that's close to us, uh, we would find support. Uh, if this uh, one by one, which is a 45 degree, one, 262, 263, doesn't that ring a bell? Didn't we do a low recently at 262, 263-ish around there? So know that that gas knows this one by one is here, this 45 degree. So for whatever reason, we sell, in the, we sell off uh, and we bounce off of 263, that should show you an indication that this level right here is pretty strong and is respecting it. Let's uh, continue on our GAN square. And you can see that I'm measuring it. So I'm narrowing in into the uh, battle zone. That's the word I was trying to look for, the battle zone. This is the area where I'm focusing. And we're somewhere around, well, we made a high of 277 and a low of 272 today, somewhere around there. Uh, and today, uh, using this technique of GAN, if we were to pop, we would need to get above 277. Well, look at that. 277 was the high as of now. Maybe, you know, it'll continue. You see that angle right here coming down from all the way here? Um, that is resistance as of now. But if we could get above that, your next one would be the uh, one fourth which is 282. Remember 281 is the uh, 270 degree. Somewhere around there, well, uh, that could be a possible target or find resistance, but if it's gonna continue, the next one on today will be the 16, which is 290. Uh, and if it's really strong, whatever the numbers are gonna be, uh, I think the last one will probably be, let's see, you could probably say 307. Uh, this is very bullish. Yeah. But if, you know, this could probably be realistic, more the uh, 290, uh, even the uh, 282. 
But know that 277 is stalling because of this angle right here. But now let's say, you know what, the numbers are not really too good. And yeah, we have more downside into July. Seasonality wise, that makes more sense. Then if it's going to go down uh, using the GAN square, your next support would be all the way to around 257. So there's a little more targets up here. And this one is a big drop. So if it drops here and you can see that I'm anchoring from that uh, October 27th high to this February 20, uh, February 20th low 152, you can see that pretty much it kind of halts in between these, you know, some people say, oh, that's, that's woo woo stuff. I'm, I'm not into this kind of stuff. Well, this is what Gan did and this is what Gan traded. And this is, this is the way he kind of looked at the markets. So I'm trying to mix my videos up with different views, different techniques. Uh, and this one, this one is pretty much more GAN based. The other one is more like, you know, sentiment trader. Um, what I normally you do, but I include this also. I just don't do videos about this, but this is the level you want to watch. Um, even not just today, it, it, you know, throughout until we break out of here, higher, lower, or, you know, we have to expand this from August 28th on to this area. So this is a key level. So let's move on. So I don't make this video too long. Andrew's pitchfork. We already know that we broke out from here. So there's nothing, in, you know, and in, in these closes are too narrow to create an Andrew's pitchfork. I mean, I could try, but for some reason I didn't do that. The ellipse technique uh, from the high of this slow, nothing really there. You may want to keep an eye on uh, July, uh, July the 23rd. That's when it ends. Uh, that ellipse, we'll go back to that. This one is from this, uh, impulse wave higher to this high. And it lines up around the 26, pretty much yesterday. So let's see what's going to happen today. All right. So these trend lines... This is a 45. This is one of MSJ's techniques. So that's why I got this ellipse here. And it just tells you uh, if you wanted to do it manually. It's the same thing. So today, that should be pretty much around 263, 264. Get all that out here. So this is the line in the sand, pretty much. This is your 45. And you are on the bullish side. Now we cracked to 263, 264, around there, 262. Then you're it's showing sign of weakness. And that's how GAN would determine, okay, we're getting a little weaker here in regards to geometry. And we're, you know, on this trend line here. Let's see what we have here. So we need to stay above that trend line. So this is a harmonic moves from this low to here. So that was 14 days from here to here was 15 days. So I'm trying to see here. So nothing really happened here, but in theory, this move in regards to time going down to here uh, is mirroring this right here. And that leads to 627, which is today. If you've been watching my other videos on the uh, LEA wave theory. We had a 45 and a 90, 90 calendar day lining up here so it's kind of like a cluster what i see happening here so it's going to be interesting you know hopefully it's not a dud hopefully we get some uh, price action you know either to the upside or to the downside and the reason why i say upside or downside is because statistically it goes up today if that's going to play out but seasonality wise we get into you know weakness into july so it's like okay so which one you're going to pick seasonality <clears throat> or just one day of a pop and then, you know, dead cat bounce and then pull back and go down into seasonality. But, you know, it all depends. The numbers that come out could change a lot of things. <clears throat> In regards to retracements, uh, you got the 50% here, which is at 257. So that's good. So, so far, just measuring this area right here. Uh, this is an extension here. Uh, and it picked the peak here. I want to keep an eye out for 7.7, seven, but so far, 
Uh, it's been stalling at 281, which is the 38.2%. 50% would be the 257. So right now, resistance, support, uh, using the, uh, the Fibonacci uh, levels here. Now from that low, February 20 low, to this high, you're hovering around the 76.4%, uh, which is at 276. The low will probably be, which is a 61.8, 253, which lines up right here. So June, uh, Jul July the 7th, 8th, just keep an eye on that. Let's go into, from this high to that impulse. Uh, next thing you probably want to watch is around uh, August the 22nd. That's far away. I'm trying to kind of see what we have here. All right, so key level, uh, advanced resistance level. This is something from the program, which I'd like to use to confirm some levels. 290 uh, is, as of right now, resistance. Uh, if it goes all the way down, 224, possible support. These two points. Uh, right now, and I'm measuring it from here, 273 and could be support could be resistance it's kind of dancing there right now 215 it's the next level and i think lastly uh obviously from here to here that is going to be 261 so remember 261 262 263 that number should be obvious to you using the gain square the uh the gain fan uh, that's going to be a lot of support there if there is, you know, a sell off. But if it bounces, that's when you want to pounce uh, and just put your stops really close because it's either going to work out or not. Um, so that's how I would play today. If it goes down, bounces. Uh, if it goes up, you know, whatever the numbers is and it's positive, then you just, you know, get into it. Uh, could it be a dead cat bounce? Yeah, this, that's the possibility of it playing up. But you already saw some levels to the top and where it could probably stall. And if you see it stalling somewhere around there, like if I put the, uh, pretty much not the GAN fan, but the GAN square, you know, geometrically could give you all these things, all these uh, levels. Like if it bounces and it fails at 282, 281, you know that's 270 degree in the square of nine. So... Obviously, that's going to tell you. So let's let's look at that. So that way we get in this video. So today's range is 277, right? And the low is 272. And we're kind of hovering there. And I don't know where it's at now as of the time of this video, which is uh, 619 Central Time. If we were to pop 280, 281 to, right here, this could be possible targets, even resistance. But if we could push here and continue, then 289 all the way to 298. But if we, you know, stall here, you see it stalling, just kind of going sideways, chances are it's going to go back down to 273. We made a low of 272 today. Uh, and if that doesn't hold, then 265. Remember 263? That's the 45 degree angle right there, um, which makes sense because the 152 low, uh, you could say probably one. 264 around here is this is a good level for support just in case we sell off if this area doesn't hold 263 264 i know that's the one by one 45 degree right here if this doesn't hold the chances are we're going to push lower to uh 257 even 255 to 254, 253. This would be the sweet spot. You got the 194 right there, and you got your 152 lining up with the 255. So this would be an area that I'll be watching uh, for a possible, you know, at least holding, at least, you know, bulls coming in. I was like, hmm, hmm. Sniffing it out. Oh, this might probably hold. And then see what happens if it bounces from here. I'm going to sign out. Let's see how it plays out. And then uh, probably at the end of this video, we'll look at the uh, midpoint uh, chart or at the uh, U.S. close and just see what worked out and what didn't work out, what happened in regards to level, what was what, what played out and see, you know, what kind of worked out pretty much and what the numbers were.
I'm going to sign out. Hopefully you like this video, and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on that gas.